How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games, and we're back with another Daz Watches. Before you get excited about the background, it's all going to change. I got tired with the green screen up. This is the new office, but I am going to redecorate the walls. My figurine, everything else here is going to change. It's going to look like an entirely different room. You'll see, you'll see. But for now, this is the space, and I've done just, you know, so it's passable, pleasing to the eye. But yeah, it's all gonna change. But this is um, kind of the new office. I just got tired of teasing you all. You know, th this is the new room, essentially. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with today's video. Actually, uh, before we do that, um, and I always said I would take over Crocs. And look! Daz on a Croc! Daz on a Croc! Croc on a Daz! I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. You you've all been sending me your pictures of me on your Crocs. <laughs> number one question I've been getting is, Daz, why is your face half black, half white? I don't know, is the answer. We're just not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna get them. Yeah, it's on the Daz Black shop right now and you, you, can, um, you can have me on your Crocs. If you don't have me on your Crocs, then I don't like you. Speaking of not being liked, Karens. Karens are evolving. With technology and phones and cameras, they now have the tools to report you to the police. And you don't even have to be breaking the law. You just go about your daily business and if you're doing something that displeases them, you're getting recorded. Today's Daz Watch is going to be watching Karen's Freakouts. This is a compilation of Karen's going insane. And we're going to give our verdict on it. Let's go. This is a public road. This is a public road. I'm not backing up for you. We're all tired of this. No, you're tired of it. And dust my eyes deceive me. They're wearing Crocs! Guys, put me on your Crocs! Look at it, look at that, look, look! Look! <laughs> you, can have, you can have me on your Crocs! We're taking over Crocs. Yes, I do. You do not belong on a street. You don't belong on a street? He's a kid. All right, he sh probably shouldn't be on a on a motorcycle in his pajamas, but you know, he does belong on a street. That's what streets are for. Parents are always saying, go outside. This is what you get. Oh my street. Get off. I mean, you can you can go and like talk to kids if it's for in their safety, but don't like threaten them and get in their face and like walk up to them with your short haircut. Why would you get your hair cut short and then just let your sideburns be all frizzy? That triggers me. You're on it again and I'm calling. And then the little- <laughs> The little- <laughs> Just go speak to his parents. You can't reason with teenagers nowadays. Have you tried? Have you tried talking to a teenager? If you raise your voice to a teenager nowadays or speak above a certain octave, you're abusing them. Lord forbid you offend one. Oh my God. They end up in A&E. Literally, that is what it's like. Look, listen, just a message to this generation. If your feelings are hurt, just just move on. Just get on with it. Honestly. <gasps> oh, sorry. Uh, three. 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 Three People behind you, right, are going to want to get to their seat. Why do people go onto planes with 57,000 bags as a carry-on? You're meant to have one. I, I don't check in luggage now. I just pack everything into a, a, a backpack and I'm gone. It's just so much simpler. Look, she's got five bags. I hate her already. Can we clap? Can you start the clap, Kendall? Start the clap. Start the clap. She's still getting more. How many bags has she got? Where's she putting them all? <laughs> Woo! You can clap all you want, but. Clap all you want. <laughs> there's nothing she can do. Yeah, there's just, there's just how it is, you know. Just take the L and get off the plane with your thousand rack sacks. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Good. How are you? Are you filming? Um, who are you first? Who are you first? No, no, no. Uh, who are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're in my building. Who are you? I'm in your building. All right. The guy behind the camera is actually being a bit of a dick. Do you, you don't own the building. The people own the building, ma'am. This is a public building. And Respectfully. you need to have... Do you have a permit? To 
the, the, the thing is, is she's actually right. In, in a lot of places where, when you're like filming with your phone, there's these people that go out to deliberately piss people off by filming and just want a reaction. If she works there and he's entered this building and he's just going around filming, you know, she has the right to ask him. I, I wouldn't say she's a Karen. That's not true. Who, who are you? Yeah, really. Who are you? So I know who I spoke with? I want to know how come you think you don't need a permit. She should give his uh, name, though. She should, like, because she's actually in the right here, believe it or not. Man, why are you, you becoming doing, so hostile? How you doing, sir? Officer Kale, Orange County Police Department. How you doing? What's going on today? Nothing, just filming. Okay. Yeah, see, nothing. I'm just filming. I'm in a corridor. This looks like some sort of government building as well. If they got police here, whatever. He's, he, the guy behind the camera's being a dick. Like, it's not her fault. Yeah. And who do you think you are? I'm just here doing a job. And this is our house, and you're not supposed to block the driveway. They're moving. They're not going to be there long. <laughs> they're all, Karen's in a nightgown. Uh, you know, they're the worst. They they don't give a shit. They came to war in their pajamas. Set the furniture up, and I'll be gone in 15 minutes. You're still, you're still on, our... on our property. It's right of access. It's an easement. Not a, it's not an easement. Would you like me to... If it connects two properties, it's an easement. <laughs> God, like, honestly, people, are they that bored? I, this is why, right, when I bought this new house, it is in the middle of nowhere. There's just no one around. I can't stand neighbours. I can't stand neighbours. Especially the little community neighbours that, you know, they have, like, community watch. They send, like, letters to everyone going, We just want everyone to know that we're having a barbecue on Saturday. Appreciate it if you could come. And we'll talk about the area. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't care. It's neighbors, man. They just they they just go off. If there's something they can complain about, they will. Just go about your day. Like he said, he'd be done in 15 minutes. He's clearly moving furniture. Leave him alone. They go and get the uh, the court documents because I'm telling you this. Oh, this Karen's got court documents on standby. She's ready. This is not an easement. Can't I just do my job? No, park out in the street. Have you noticed the people in these videos? They're always on the phone. But they're never, <laughs> they're never talking to them. It's just an act. Like, who are you on the phone to? You're talking to me. Who are you on the phone to? The other person on the end of the phone must be like, I don't know. They're not talking to me. <laughs> yes, well, you tell, tell everybody, you tell her that. She's the she one. She told me to have access to her. Here. She's a lying because she's not allowed to do it. She doesn't like her. That's why. Whoever this woman is, she doesn't like her. <laughs> She's not allowed to do it. Can I just have 15 minutes to do this? I'll give you 15 please. minutes and then you better be gone. <laughs> the police are coming. That's okay. Someone somewhere is just being stabbed repeatedly with an ice pick. And meanwhile, the police are there. Don't call the police for just anything. If someone's annoying you, just go away. <laughs> just walk away. I have a videotape Shut of you doing. What garbage? What garbage? This garbage that, that is in the front Landing from your place. It's blue hair. Straight away. If you see, if you see, <laughs> honestly, if you have, if you're a girl and you have blue hair, I feel really bad for you because you've chosen that color because you like it. But now it just gets a bad rep. <laughs> Mermaid blue hair seems to be the color of psychopaths. <laughs> And I'm not saying all people like <laughs> who have it, but also you see it and automatically you're like, oh god. It's landing from my trees. That's yes. exactly and then correct. You're right in my yard. There's like nothing around. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fucking Voldemort over there. <laughs> Brushing the lawn. Has she got a broom out on the lawn? Yeah, yep, yeah, she's she's brushing the lawn. I guarantee you, if you go into that lady's house, she's drawn a calendar on the wall using her own shit. I am glad you are taking a picture. Otherwise, people will not know what kind of a person are you. She's like she's like shouting like idiot as she's. Brushing the lawn. <laughs> what the fuck? Neighbor, bad person. <laughs> oh my god. Oh bless her. She's probably not well. <laughs> she tried to contain that one and ah! 
fuck you got damn me? Oh, you can call somebody else? Just buy your pineapple. Ah, uh, I always, I go to the self-checkout now every single time. I just, I cannot wait for other people at the supermarket to do it. I mean, look at this massive mountain that she's put on top. Like, how much food do you need? Like, oh my God, the patience you need now. Especially if they know each other. Oh, oh God. Just text each other. Don't have a converse, like when you've paid, don't just stand there and, and be like, oh my God, right, so I told Rebecca, sorry, I'll be one moment, I'll be one So Rebecca, right, she came on the other night, couldn't believe it, couldn't believe it, couldn't, couldn't fucking believe it. I can't believe it, I just wanna buy some onions and go home. Don't have massive conversations at the checkout. No, I'm not, I'm a handicapped person, eating a freaking parking place. Okay. I don't think um, you can be registered disabled for being a twat. It's not legal to be on your phone and drive, but you are. No one. <laughs> I love car arguments. They're so funny. Like everyone gives it the large and. Hello. Hello. Do you right? realise you're parking in my space? What do you mean, I'm parking in your space? This is my space. I. To be honest, um, even if she's wrong, she's owning that outfit. This is modern Mary Poppins right here. I live here. Yeah, I I live here as well. But how long have you been living here for? I don't know. I don't know, less than a year. Well, and, and do you own your place? No, 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 well, I don't. Unless it's signed to your actual building number, it's not your space. I had communal parking at the last one, and we had a space assigned for each house. Like, mine was number four, and... I had a spy I had a space for my house. And there were also a bunch of spots with the letter V um, on them for visitors. So like if my parents were coming or I had a friend coming down, they were allowed to use those spots. And the same situation happened. Someone had about three cars. Why would you buy more cars than you can actually physically park? I don't get it. And he was just like, um, I just wanted to let you know that those parking spaces up there are for me. I said, no, they're not. I said they got the letter V on it, it stands for visitor. He's like, yeah, I know, but I have three cars. If I don't have that space, I've got nowhere to put my third car. I was like, oh, I said, I'm sorry. That's that's a you problem. Thought, well, there's no need to be rude. And then he got into it with me. He was just like, you know, you know, everybody like knows that you're this YouTuber. And I was like, what? <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Other than being a prick. And he sort of walked away. <laughs> Hate neighbors, can't stand them. Move there. That, that's when in like situations like this, I'm terrible because I would actually just laugh. <laughs> that went... <laughs> you see what happened here? That's what you get when you be rude, you know what I mean? I'm not being... That's what you get, wind! <laughs> Blows your hat off, fam! Being rude, you I'm making being a rude. point. What point? point? This is what point my space. I've been living here for 10 years. I've always been in the same space all that time. And I don't see... Why? You, who's just been living here in a rented apartment for- Why do- that's the demeaning aspect of it, like she's- You're renting, I own. I have money, and you don't. Piss off. <laughs> well, that's my pet peeve, is when Pete- it doesn't matter how nice or even if you're in the right, like, if you talk down to me- <laughs> That's my- that's my biggest pet peeve, if you talk- down to me if you treat me lesser than you for whatever reason i don't care who you think you are i'll poke you in the eye mm, like that mm, 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 mm. guys that was some um karen's freaking out you guys have been asking me to do some more karen freak out videos like i say man like you know little things just let them go life's too short and you know if you own a pair of crocs maybe put my face on it Oh! And then maybe message Crocs because I want my own custom Crocs. I want, right, this is my dream. You got other people out here making energy drinks. Great. Whiskies. Great. Tequilas. Like every, all these celebrities getting their own, like, you know, shit. I want to be, I want my own custom pair of Crocs. Sold through Crocs by Crocs. And the only way we're going to get their attention is if my face is on Crocs. So let's, let's make it happen. By the end of this year. I want a campaign with Crocs. That's it. That's that's all I want in life. It's not a lot to ask, is it? <laughs> Guys, like, love, quest my channel.
and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. Ha!